Hi there, my name is Dan. I'm in charge of training here at Caravan Coffee Roasters in North London. And today, I'm going to show you how to dial in a perfect and consistent espresso every single time. To start off, let's go through a few bits of equipment that you'll definitely need to help you brew espresso. Okay, so to begin brewing espresso, you're going to need a few things. First off, obviously, you're going to need your espresso machine. You're going to need some coffee. Today, we'll be dialing in the daily blend from up here at Caravan. You're going to need a grinder. Today we're going to be using the Mythos One grinder from VA. Um, but everything we learned today can be applied to all different grinders as well. You're going to need a tamper for tamping your coffee, a teaspoon, a tamping mat, a microfiber cloth for cleaning out your port filters, and very, very important, a set of scales. But to start off, there's a few different things we need to do every single time we pull an espresso. The first off, we need to flush the group head. This is to get rid of any old coffee that can be stuck in the group head, and also to keep our group head nice and warm. Next up, we need to bang out any old coffee that's stuck in our porch filter. Now if we look here, we can see it's full of old coffee grounds. So we need to wipe these out Make sure you have a nice, clean basket ready for our next espresso. Next up, we need to turn on our scale and place our port filter onto the scale and tear it so that we can weigh the exact amount of coffee we're going to be using for our recipe. Today, we're going to be using a recipe of 18 grams of coffee, to 40 grams of espresso, and 28 to 32 seconds. We place our port filter back onto the scales and check how much coffee we've got in there. And here we have exactly 18 grams, which is exactly what we're looking for. We can have a 0.2 variance. So 18.2 to 17.8 is perfectly fine. And then we need to tamp it. We need to take extra special care to make sure that we're just tamping here, not on the spouts, as then we run the risk of the spouts falling off. When we tamp our coffee, we're trying to make sure the bed of the coffee is nice and flat and lovely and even. For more information on how to tamp correctly, go and watch the video, How to Tamp. And before we lock that into the machine, we're going to wipe the top of the basket. Next up, get your cup ready. Lock your port filter into your machine and press the button you have designated for your double espresso. At which point, we're keeping an eye on how long that espresso takes to pour. If the espresso pours too quickly, we need to make our grinder finer. If it pours too slowly, we'll need to make our grinder coarser. So if you look on the screen, we can see the shot poured for only 22 seconds, which is six seconds away from our target time of 28 to 32 seconds. So to remedy this, we need to make our grinder finer. So now we need to adjust our grinder. On every grinder, you have a way to adjust your grind either coarser or finer. On this grinder here, we have just adjustment knob here. On your grinder, you may find you have an adjustment collar just below your hopper. On every grinder, smaller numbers will denote a finer grind, whilst coarser numbers will denote a coarser grind. As our shot was at 22 seconds and we're aiming for 28 to 32 seconds, we need to make our grind finer. Uh, remember the rhyme, for more time, grind fine, and that should put you on the right course. So as we're on nine, we're gonna make one, one adjustment from nine to eight. Now inside the grinder here, there is coffee from before we adjusted our grinder so we'll need to purge one shot of coffee before we can pull our next espresso to make sure we're rid to of make sure we're all the old grind sites. Okay let's brew another espresso shot and see if we are within our target time. We're getting closer to our target time but we're not quite there yet so this time we'll just make a smaller adjustment purge our grinder and then pull our shot again. 
Vampire Espresso doesn't reach the target time of 28 to 32 seconds, we can repeat the process until it does. Remember, this isn't where dialing in ends. We also need to keep an eye on our shots throughout the day to make sure they stay balanced and delicious for every single customer.